Hi guys, what's good? It's the Koi here and you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm so excited for this video. Good, it's the Koi here. You're welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you do not know who the Koi is, you already know how we do it. I'm a makeup artist, beauty influencer, content creator, based in the Baden, Nigeria, and you're very much welcome. Today's video, whoo, is something that I've always wanted to do. It's something that has been on my mind. You guys, I'm not even joking. I've done rehearsal for this video countless number of times. Like I've done voiceover for this video countless number of times. Like I've just imagined it in my head. And this video is just going to be about how I build my YouTube setup. That is how I set up for YouTube, how I set up in order to film my YouTube videos. And honestly, I know that this video is going to help someone out there because I am a DIY king. Like I am a DIY king. So for people who are looking to start a YouTube channel and you keep thinking, oh, I don't have a good camera. I don't have the big lights. I don't have, this is the video for you because I'm going to be showing you guys how I build my YouTube setup in my small space. Like I have a very small space to work with, but I still make it work and yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, with that being said, if you want to know how I build my YouTube setup, you watch to the end, okay? And please, 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 I'm tired of begging. I'm tired of begging. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. That's all I have to say, period. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back. So as you guys can see, I'm sitting on this table right here. And if you guys come into my room, this is what you would typically see. You would see my dressing mirror, which I have a lot of things on it. I have no idea why. And then I have this little cute setup right here. So this is what my table basically looks like on a normal day. When I'm not filming for YouTube, this is what it looks like. I've done it in such a way that I can slide in the table and slide out just to, just to minimize space, okay? I'm trying to make everything as arranged as it can be. So as you guys can see, I already have my backdrop taped to the wall. And honestly, this backdrop gave me a hard time because when I wanted to do it, I didn't realize that this fabric has to be stretched out. So I, was, I ironed this fabric like four times and it was still looking very, very rough. So what I did was, I just took the tapes and I taped it and I stretched it out. So this tape right here is dragging the, the, the fabric up. The tape down is dragging it down. So just that just gives it a very smooth surface. Honestly, when I started YouTube, I was a huge fan of hanging backdrops. I used to use Ankara backdrops then. And you know, it would give my video this really nice effect. But as I started to grow, I just realized that, okay, other things could be done. At a point, I started using my wardrobe, I started using my curtain, I started using plain background, you know. I was just trying to experiment and just like see which one works best for me. Because I just realized that when I make YouTube videos, when anyone makes YouTube videos and you have the same setup every time, you know, at a point, it just gets boring. It's good to have a standard setup where people know that, okay, once they see this setup, they know that, okay, this is this person, okay? But at a point, you know, it's good to switch things up. It's good to change things. Even if it's to maybe like change the lights, change the setup, change the camera, you know, it's just good to like change things up once in a while. So this setup is one that I'm currently loving for my YouTube. If I have an updated, um, set up i'm going to let you guys know but for now this is what i'm currently loving and enjoying okay so come along with me let's build together 
welcome 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 so as you guys can see first things first i'm going to be taking these books off the table and i'm taking this backdrop off the table as well and i'm just going to show you guys what i did to my table so i have this reflector board taped to my table as you guys can see it reflects light so i just have it <clears throat> taped on my table so anytime I'm filming it just bounces light on my face so now I'm going to be moving the table and the chair forward I'm going to be leaving extra space at the back of the chair as you guys can see just like that so I'm going to show you guys my laundry basket basically and I'm going to put that at the back of the chair you guys will see the reason in like 30 seconds <laughs> so I have this ring light that the stand broke and I just couldn't fix it I've not had time to fix it so I just like put it at the back of the chair that serves as my backlight you guys see what I mean now once I plug it in you guys see the amount of difference it's going to make boom just like that can you guys see how it just automatically brightens up the background like without me even turning on any other lights the backlight alone is like really doing a good job and this backlight also gives me like an halo effect so yeah i have this reflector board that i diy myself i just used foil paper and you know these things that you see when you buy tv and washing machine <laughs> So I just taped the reflector boards on them and I use that to bounce light on my face whenever I'm filming This does a really really good job honestly can you guys see that effect like it just brightens up the background It helps to like spread the light and like bounce it everywhere Now I'm just going to show you guys my ring light. That's my major source of light like this is the light that I this is like my major light aside from my backlight you guys can see that the ring light is higher than the seat you guys will understand that in like a minute i'm just going to, i'm showing you guys that i put the diffuser on the ring light i don't know for some reason i took off my diffuser for my ring light and i was using it like that i thought i was like pop me <laughs> like i don't know i just watched someone's video and i realized that that diffuser is really really important slacking anyways i'm putting this reflector okay i think this is self-explanatory you guys can just see what i'm doing so basically light reflector reflector light like that is really really bouncing on my face so the reflector is just like taking light from the ring light and putting it on my face that's like the basic explanation for this setup so just like that now i created this viewfinder using mirror and cello tape but for some reason on um, paper tape sorry but for some reason it wasn't working in this side so i just had to let it go like this i'll just stretch this higher than my seat so i'll be able to see my um camera from there i just used it as a viewfinder now this is the part where the phone is going to go the phone or the camera this is can you guys see that is higher than the chair I'm just showing you guys like an overview of the setup how it looks from outside the view now you guys can also see i'm showing you guys my backlight and what it looks like it just spreads light on my background it makes it brighter and it also gives me like this halo effect I'm just showing you guys how the setup looks I think this is easily manageable in small spaces and you know you can always walk your way around it if you enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay good now this is another trick that I used to get another background another background color so I basically just put this yellow clothes on the light and boom just like that it just transforms the light to yellow light and if I'm looking for another setup I could just change my ring light to like yellow so yeah <laughs> another trick I'm just taking the clothes off so you guys can see the difference when the clothes is on and when the clothes is off okay now I'm just showing you guys how I get into the chair basically and 
this is not what you see in the camera okay this is i what just you want see. to add some things that i think you, sh you should do that is really going to help improve and increase your quality okay the number one thing is good lighting good lighting is really 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 important guys a lot of youtubers a lot of content creators use soft boxes so they always have one here one hair it's bouncing on their face and you know it just looks bomb so i have just one i have two ring lights so that's how i'm just able to manipulate it i have one in front and one at the back one as my backlight and one as my main light i also have my window open you know i don't have a lot of light coming in i don't have so i don't have so much light coming in from my window and it honestly pains me most times i always want to film like natural light videos i have about two natural light videos on my youtube channel but i don't know i feel like it's not as popping as i would want it to look again um diffusing is really really important these foil papers are really doing a good job i'm going to take out the foil paper and i'm going to put it back so you guys can see the difference well it might not make much of a difference because i already have one foil paper taped to my table and this foil paper just serves as my reflector i've said that before so i just do you guys see i just took this one out and i'm going to put it back just like that. Do you guys see? It, it, it adds this sort of glow to your skin. Like you just have lights on your skin already. Do you get me? So that way your face doesn't look washed out. Everything still looks like bright and flawless. Okay. And I just showed you guys all my tips and tricks and how I film for you. Can you guys see how I'm sweating? Do you see how I'm sweating? Like this is how stressful it is for me to set up. And um, it might not be the same for you because I sweat a lot so probably that's why this is going on so let me know if you guys really enjoyed this video and if you guys would like to see how I set up on my bed please drop a comment down in the comment section so I can also film that video for you guys because that one is another setup on its own but this is the setup that I'm currently loving except for the fact that it's kind of tight and when I'm trying to get in and out of the chair it's really really difficult that is the only con that I have about this but every other thing is nice I really hope you guys take some of the tips and tricks that I showed you in this video and please do not leave my video without liking sharing and subscribing to my youtube channel those three things are really important because they help my channel to grow and I really really hope this has inspired you to start up a channel that is if you are ready so with that being said thank you so much for watching this video and until next time Thank you.